This video is sponsored by DB Bulldogs. Don't forget to follow on social media and keep up to date with their story. News has broke today of the second Metropolitan Police officer to ever be implicated in an EncroChat conspiracy. Razvinda Agalu has been fired after facing a disciplinary in relation to the fact that she said she didn't know her husband was a cocaine drug baron. On Monday, December the 12th, 2021, PC Ravinda's home was raided by police who suspected her husband, Julian Agalu, who was 47 years old, was involved in selling large amounts of cocaine that was branded as Hublo. And he used the EncroChat communication system to try to avoid detection. During the police raid, they found a bowl of cocaine next to the bed that the couple shared. And she was a former beauty queen who had become a police officer several years ago. She said that she thought her husband was a professional chef who worked for footballers and said that she had no idea that he was involved in drugs. But the prosecution said the drugs were all around the house and it was very evident that she knew about it. Her husband had also boasted that he had contacts in the police and they also found information that was relating to cases involving himself. The tribunal heard that her husband was convicted of supplying Class A drugs during the search of the EncroChat messages, police found conversations relating to 100 kilo drug deals and they also discussed the sale of firearms. Her husband's alias on EncroChat was Nice Moon and the prosecution said that Julian gave himself away by posting pictures of his home, also his children and making reference to the fact that his wife was a police officer. They said that he even posted details about his wife's travel to work at Kensington Police Station and boasted that she'd been promoted to sergeant in the Metropolitan Police. Drugs were found in a Louis Vuitton bag underneath Agalou's bed and 27 grand in cash was also discovered. The mother of three was fired but has not been charged with any criminal offences. Her husband will be sentenced in February along with his accomplice Daniel Duncan from Brentwood. So that is very interesting that she was raided twice, they found drug paraphernalia and drugs inside the house and evidence to suggest that she was involved in obtaining information about people from the police records. But she has faced no convictions or charges in relation to that. So I really look forward to hearing what our viewers have to say on that story. And in some other news in relation to another police officer, PC Elaine Taylor from Bolton has been fired following a misconduct hearing after allegations relating to honesty and integrity. She was found hiding in the wardrobe of a person that was wanted by the police on January the 8th, 2020. The police said that she had knowledge of this man as well. And Detective Sergeant Tom Dixon said... We hold all our police officers to the high standard and unfortunately PC Taylor fell below this standard. We remain committed to addressing any misconduct at any rank and taking swift action. And in this other story coming from Greater Manchester, a woman was caught inside a drug flat weighing up over a kilo and a half of crack cocaine. Courtney Larkin was found sitting on the floor around a makeshift table weighing up class A drugs in the form of rock and also powder. The 25-year-old was in the process of cutting the drugs and placing them into bags when the police raided. They found 1.2 kilos of the drugs that they valued at £123,000. Police executed the warrant in Staleybridge on Friday the 6th of May 2022. Larkin was arrested on suspicion of crack cocaine supplying and taken into custody where she was charged. She pled guilty to the offence at Manchester Crown Court. She was sentenced to four years. So I really appreciate you joining me for these updates and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like and send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com.